A few months ago, I created a video on how to be able to use push to talk in VR using two different microphones as well as OVR advanced settings. However, that video assumes that you're going to be using the in-game voice chat and not something like Discord. Instead of waiting longer to make a guide on the different ways to be able to use push to talk, I figured I would just make a part two or this video to add on to the other one. Hey, I'm Adam Bombadi and I create tutorials on how to be able to live stream and record your VR experiences. I also cover the occasional VR game and some fun tech. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a push to talk button in VR for Discord. Let's go. Unlike my last video, if you're choosing to communicate with your friends via Discord, all you need is one microphone, and if you've got a good quality mic like the one on the Index, you're good to go. Now, just like in the other video, we're going to still need OVR Advanced Settings, which you can download free on Steam, but we're going to be using a different section this time. First, make sure that in your Discord settings, we're going to head over to Voice and Video and make sure that the input device is the microphone that you're going to want to use. In my case, it's going to be my Valve Index. Also make sure under input mode that you have voice activity selected. Then we're going to head over to keybinds and under action you're going to want to select push to mute or push to talk or toggle mute depending on your usage and your preferences and also add a keyboard binding into the box here. Make sure that if you're planning on using this for streaming purposes that this hotkey isn't something that you've accidentally bound to any of your broadcasting software's scenes or sources otherwise you'll be in for a very annoying surprise. Once you have OVR Advanced Settings installed, and this may require a restart of Steam VR, you should see a new little cog in your Steam VR dashboard. Then go to Bindings, then click on the Miscellaneous tab. Pick a button that will work best for you, in my case it's going to be the left B on my index controller. Select Button, then choose what kind of toggle you want. Click is the easiest, but you can also change the button to be held and some other settings you can experiment with. Click on None, then we're going to set this to Keyboard Shortcut 1, then make sure to click the little check mark so that it saves. Now we need to set what Keyboard Shortcut 1 actually is. To do this, navigate to your App Data folder, which you can find by searching for it on your Windows search bar. Find the Advanced Settings Team folder. Open the OVR Advanced Settings INI with a text editor. Scroll down to the section that says Keyboard Shortcuts, then add your hotkey after the equal sign. For F keys, just type it in how it is, so if it's F9, type in F9. However, Control keys will be represented by a caret, Shift keys by a greater than sign, and Alt is represented by an asterisk. Why is it like this? I don't know, I didn't make it. But do make sure you save. I'll add a doc in the description below in case you have weird hotkeys to make sure that you type them in the format that OVR will actually be able to read. Now let's test it. Join or create a private voice channel and then we're going to want to push the button that you have it assigned to. As you can see, I have my microphone set to be on all the time. But once I push the B button on my Valve Index, it mutes me on Discord, allowing me to speak freely to my stream before tapping the button and unmuting myself again to my Discord friends. So you'll notice that if you're trying to test this out by looking at Discord from your Steam VR dashboard, it's not going to work. What you need to do is actually be out of the Steam VR dashboard, then hit your push to talk button, or push to mute rather. Whoops. Then you'll notice that once you're in the game, it's actually muted in Discord. So it should be fine as long as you're not directly looking at it in your Steam VR dashboard. Also make sure, like reasons above, that whatever button you choose on your controller doesn't interfere with whatever game you're going to be playing's pre-existing mappings. You can actually go back to the bindings in OVR Advanced Settings, find that specific game, and delete the bindings for that button. That way you don't have to worry about any interference. And there you go, it's as easy as that. Your friends can thank me later. Consider joining my YouTube channel by becoming a member or by becoming a patron on my Patreon page for weekly access to tutorials pertaining to graphic and video editing, as well as tips and tricks on how to improve your brand and your content. Thank you so much to the members of the awesome Atom Bomb Brigade, and as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.